What's up guys, it's Vince from Palm Beach Jeep Club and Grave Up Restoration and today I'm making a video that I've been looking for for a while. Um, I've had to do a bunch of research on um, the bolt sizes that I need to put this 4.0 onto an engine stand. Now, um, I've been looking for a video, nobody's had a video, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to make it. So, um, a common question people have right off the bat is how to lift the engine out of the Jeep. Um, after you strip everything that has to come off, um, the easiest way to hoist it out is to use one of these two AC bracket, AC compressor bracket um, bolt holes. So I have a bolt in there that I picked up today. Um, I'm going to show you guys in this video all the bolts that you're going to need to do this. Um, that way you could pick up, you could pick them up from your local Ace Hardware or a Home Depot, Lowe's, anything like that. So um, one bolt in the AC bracket hole and then I have another bolt in the exhaust intake manifold uh, bolt hole. So uh, everybody says you can reuse your stock hardware. Um, yeah you could but I would advise against it and just pick up the grade 8 hardware. It's like less than two dollars a piece um, and it's way stronger. So uh, I have one in there, one over here and then the chain hooked up and it keeps it real steady so and and level that way it's easy to deal with um, so I had to buy uh, four bolts for here um, they're the same thread pitch as your bell housing bolts obviously but they are longer that way you could um, that way you make up for the width of the engine stand so I have these two are three eighths and these are uh, 7 sixteenths so I have all those sizes right over here so today for the intake exhaust manifold and for the um, AC compressor bracket it's 3 8 16 by an inch and a quarter long uh, for these and the one on the other side 7 16 14 by 4 inches long for the bottom bolts here and the length doesn't really matter um, I did four, um, I did four inches and they go right through so you could always just thread the rest of it through. Uh, I just wanted to be safe because all engine size, most engine stands um, are the same size but this one seemed a little bit smaller. Uh, I don't know what brand it is, I just, I got it for free so I'm not going to complain. Um, and then uh, two, three eighths, sixteen bolts uh, by four inches for the top over here. Now the four inches was a little long for this particular engine stand. So I just put two nuts um, on the back end of it just to make sure I was all the way threaded through and then I just didn't have any extra um, way to bend the bolts. So right now it's on there, it's secure, there's no there's no tension on the engine stand or on the engine crane. So that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm gonna put a list of the bolts down in the description. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and be sure to drop a thumbs up if you watch this video and it's helped you. And that way, more people can see it and it's going to save them a bunch of time as well. So, I'll see you guys in the next one.